my last question to you is uh do you feel a threat of uh ex players oh yeah i knew you were gonna go there when you said threat <laughs> first thing i thought yeah. of was like ex players for do, sure or not even you but do you know your peers and counterparts do they feel a threat or do y'all whole you know group do y'all feel a threat of that you know uh y'all worked hard to get where y'all at yeah. and uh, you know, did all the internships and went yeah. to the small markets and this and X, Y, and Z. And, you know, somebody that just freshly retired can hop on the desk. Hop on the desk. <laughs> make millions of dollars. Make millions of dollars. Tom Brady got that fat. He's not even accepted <laughs> it. Like, he's not even doing it. Like, he got a multi-million dollar contract just waiting for him whenever he feels like going to the desk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, at first, yes, I did feel some type of way. But now, like, not really. And I think at first I felt that way because I was insecure about myself. I was insecure about what I, I could achieve in this business. But now I know I bring something different to the table that the athletes don't. And I also know that athletes bring something, table, something to the table that I don't. And so I, I acknowledge that and I respect that. And so I also think the roles will be different. So like the athletes are like the analysts, mm -hmm. right? Um, and some sports broadcasters, like me, they want to be analysts one day, so I'm not saying that none of us want to be analysts. So for them, yes, they may feel some type of way, but for me personally, they want to be an the athletes want to be analysts, and so I'm cool with that. I'm trying to be Ernie, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about TNT broadcast. I'm trying to be Ernie Johnson. I'm trying to be the guy that hosts these athletes and keeps these athletes on the right page because have you seen Barkley and Shaq and Kenny do like they they go off on tangents you mm -hmm. know so I want to be the guy that the glue that keeps everything together and gets the ball rolling um, while still lobbing it up to them to be themselves and so I'm yeah I'm cool with athletes uh, I'm an athlete guy in this business and so they work their butt off to make it to the pros to be great, because most of these former athletes that are analysts are Hall of Famers. So mm -hmm. it's like, you gotta put respect to that. Like they were not only pros, but they were pros, the pros pros, you know what I'm saying? Like they were on a whole nother level. And so they know things about the game that I don't. Now, would I want to get to that point where I can know things that they know? For sure. But I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know exactly or the same amount of things about that certain sport than that person does. Right. And so they, they bring a new thing to the table, uh, but I also think I bring something new too. So it's kind of like we can we can be great together. Yeah, you, you know? gotta uh, you gotta have a skip and Shannon. Yeah, you gotta have a skip and Shannon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Calling a house. Steven well, you were JV, you were JV in high school. Like, <laughs> just don't pull that card on me, bro. Like as long as you don't pull that card, like don't come at me about my like accolades <laughs> athletically. We're good, bro. But like when you start attacking attacking me as an athlete, I'm like okay, cool, like. You got it, bro. Come on, I'm gonna say. Right. You know, you didn't right. win a chip? Cool, dude. Like, yeah. not that big of a heart. <laughs> but then you're gonna hurt somebody's feelings, bro. I'm not yeah. trying to hurt nobody's feelings. <laughs> I'm just trying to be that guy, This bro. guy is still 6'9. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, imagine saying that to Barkley, bro. You, you win a chip, though. This guy is still 6'9. But, uh, like I say, man, thank you so much for coming on my platform. Um, like I say, I'm lucky to, to, you know, just be connected to you. You know, we've, I've seen your journey from, like I say, from UTA radio yeah. to calling the games to, uh, you know, your whole journey with, you know, going through Omega Sci-Fi to internship, <laughs> you know, it's like I say, and when I really think about it, bro, we only lived together for a year, but it feels like- it Yeah, I know, right? For a long <laughs> time. Um, <laughs> But, you know, I'm somebody that definitely, you know, watches your stuff. And with me, I guess, doing media, um, you know, I, I take a lot of stuff that you do and see, you know, where I can get better as well. So, like I said, I just thank you for coming on BBTV. Um, I can't let you out of here without, you know, can you shout out three black businesses for me? Ah, I didn't know this question was coming. I had to. Okay. Had to. First off, my sister, Christina Mose, uh, Glam by Cosette, it's her makeup business. Uh, let's go with um, Brown's Barbecue out in Midland, Odessa. One of the best barbecue joints in the in the freaking area. In Texas, actually. I'm going to say oh, in wow. Texas. Oh, wow. Like, that's my dog. And he used to hook me up, too, man. He, 
Cause he knew me on TV. He watched me on TV. So. Still a little extra in your yeah, bro, man. Ah. He used to hit me up, bro. He used to hit me up. So, like, and he, but he the one back there cooking it. That's a crazy thing. Oh snap! Like I walk in, he in the back cooking. What you want today, Corey? Like what you? I'm like, what's up, Brown? So okay, that's two. Let me try to get one more in there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Hmm. I think one in Austin. Not a lot of black people in Austin. I don't know. This is important, man. You got to. I know there's somebody. Nobody in fashion. Nobody. No food. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna say my uh, my fraternity brother. Shed, man. Uh, he he owns Blase Company. Now uh, you've seen me rock some of his stuff, actually. Uh, man, dope fashion. Look up Blase Company on IG. Uh, he's actually been in a couple stores so far. His brand is growing a lot. I remember when he first started, but now, man, he's he has tons and tons of orders. Uh, fashion, thank you, said fashion, bro. I rock his stuff, especially that uh. A little jumpsuit I got, mm-hmm. uh, the teal one. Oh, that, that was crazy. Hard. That, that was, was crazy. That was hard. Uh, so yeah, shed man. Shout out to the bros. So yeah, 